I looked down the trail, and right there under one of the ponderosa pine trees, you could see, you know, the brown fur. And then I realized that's not a dog, that's a mountain lion. That's when the cat came at me and, and launched at me. Claws came out, went right at my head. Bottom claws were all in my, like, thighs, by my knees. The top claws, you could hear the popping sounds, just pop, 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 all into the neck. The bottom jaw bit on the top part of my hairline, the top of the jaw bit on the back part of my head, and you could, and the cat bit twice, just just raking, you could hear it raking on your, on your head. Four more bites, it raked on my, on, on my skull. It was like you had a faucet on your head, and all you saw was, was blood, all you saw was the red. I reached over the cat's head, which was still locked onto mine, undid the knife out of my hand, reached back, felt two bump soft spots, if you will, and as hard as I could, shoved my thumb into what would turn out to be the cat's right eye. He made just this loud, squealing uh, chirp, and the claws loosened up. I threw my head back up on the trail, jumped back up, go, get out of here. I survived this mountain lion attack simply because of the grace of God.